Well, good day, church, and welcome to our reflection for Tuesday of the 11th week of Ordinary Time. The Lord be with you. It's a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, a while back, I was out at Belize Central Prison meeting with a man, one of the inmates out there, and this man had been in a gang, and he had killed someone, a member of a rival gang. And the man said to me, Father, he said, when I killed that man, I felt nothing. He was my enemy. He was a member of another gang. I just did what I had to do. No problem. But the next day, I turned on the TV, on the news, and I saw his wife, and I saw his kids, and they were crying inconsolably. And at that moment, I realized what I had done. I realized that I had taken a dad from his kids. I realized that I had taken a husband from his wife. I realized that he was a man, same as me. And that's when I knew I had done something wrong. And he said, to this day, every day, not a day goes by that he doesn't think of those kids crying. The teaching that Jesus gives us in today's gospel, I think is the hardest teaching in the entire Bible. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Do good to those who mistreat you. And a lot of people through the ages have said, Jesus really didn't mean this. He didn't live in the real world and there's no way we can actually do this in the real world. But on the contrary, sisters and brothers, if we don't, what kind of world are we really gonna live in? The Reverend Martin Luther King preached a famous sermon about this very gospel. And he told a story about driving through Kentucky one night with his brother. It was dark at night and they're on a small road. And every time they come over a hill, a truck is coming at them with its high beams, uh, lights on, right? And each truck refuses to dim its high beams. And his brother got so angry that he finally said, you know what, the next truck that comes over a hill with its high beams on, I'm just gonna leave my high beams on too. I'm not gonna dim mine. And Martin Luther King says, wait just a second, if you do that, then there's gonna be way too much light on this little road and it's gonna end very badly for all of us. MLK said, sometimes we have to dim the lights. Men must see that force begets force. Hate begets hate. Toughness begets toughness. And it is all of a descending spiral, ultimately ending in destruction for all and everybody. Somebody must have sense enough and morality enough to cut off the chain of hate and the chain of evil in the universe. And you do that by love. How can we dim the lights a little bit? You know, if someone is rude to us or if someone disrespect us or if someone... Um, gossips about us, um, how can we not return the same in kind? How can we dim the lights a little bit and say, you know what, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to pray for that person whether, rather than being rude to them or disrespecting them or gossiping about them in return. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to extend a little bit of compassion to them that they don't necessarily deserve. To do that is to follow the way of Jesus and it can transform our world.